Hi there, author Molson May Younger, and I'm going to show you how to use a JPEG, which I made in Adobe InDesign, but you could also make on Canva and another a number of other applications. And uh, just take that JPEG and use KDP's program to make your own book cover. Okay, so here I am in KDP, and as you can see, I've already uploaded my manuscript. You need to do a PDF file. There's a couple other kinds of files you could upload. Here's the cover creator. So what you're going to do is you're going to do launch cover creator. They have their own program. And then it's going to take you to this screen where it's going to show you different formats that you could choose. I already chose my design. Okay. But if I wanted to choose a different one, I'll just show you what it looks like. But I, I could choose a different one. Okay, so I already chose this design because I like it, but they have a number of different designs and there's an arrow here. So you can keep scrolling through that um, to try to find one that you like. So I'm just going to continue with the one that I have. And then here in, in the style and in editing. Okay, so you can put an author photo over here. So all you do is you just click on it and then you do choose a new cover image. And then that's going to take you to this window and you just say you want it from your computer and then choose one that you want. However, I already chose my image, so I don't wanna do that. And then you wanna put a short author bio here. And then here is where you're going to put in the JPEG. I am going to change this because I have a newer version of the cover. So I'm going to go get that. And I always put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. There we go. I'm on version four of my book cover. There's been a lot of different versions. So there's my book cover. And now you just want to check that this is, it's going to automatically put in the title of your book over here and your author name. You just want to make sure that that looks good and that's correct. And that's how you want it. Um, and then over here, this font is way too big. So I'm not going to do auto fit. I'm going to do like 14 point font. This is important. Stylistically, you want to just choose like one basic font family and stick with that. So everything on this cover is Baskerville, some version of the Baskerville font. And that's because it's a fantasy book. These two letters right here, the F and the S, are actually a different font. So you can just see how easy it is. You just plug in here the description of your book. You can preview it. Okay, so this is what your book cover is going to look like. And I do recommend choosing good colors to go with this too. Um, let's go back to style and edit. I'll just show you. I recommend, so going into these colors, you can choose one of their color schemes. Or if you put a JPEG image on here, you probably want to just make sure that this stuff matches that. So I chose this secondary color, this green color here to kind of match part of this book. Um, and then I chose this yellowish color for the text because it matches the text here approximately. Those are your options. This is where you choose your fonts, what you want it to look like. And again, you can re-choose a different layout if you like an, another style better. All right. And then after you have done the, both of those parts, the PDF and the cover, you want to launch the previewer just to make sure that everything really does look good together. Okay, here's the exciting part because you get to see everything together. So here's the book cover, how it's going to look, and then you open it up. Here's the pages, table of contents. You can just go through your whole book. You want to pay attention, make sure that everything is lining up right. It's within their parameters and it looks like it is because if it's outside this dotted line, it could end up getting cut off. That's their concern. So everything looks good. 
going to hit approve. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you like videos like these, please like and please subscribe. I'm going to be showing more about uh, writing and publishing. I've got some fun videos coming up.